Hello and welcome to the Man Games. At the beginning of the week, I said we're going to bring fun with figures back this week for our one off special. And we're going to look at some AEW figures that I got this week. Um, so I took my daughter to the toy store for the first time she's ever been, and I bought myself wrestling figures. So um, I went to the sh to the Smiths toy store here in the UK, and I was thinking, oh, I could buy loads today. It could be Cody, Jericho, John Moxley, Orange Cassidy. They were like the top ones that I was. Oh, Darby Allen was actually like the top one that I wanted to get. Um, but they didn't have them. They had they had some really good ones, just weren't the ones that I was really looking forward to. They had loads of Rios, they had Santana and Ortiz, and they had Hangman Page, but I've already got him, we've done a video on that channel on the channel before. They had Matt Hardy. And they had the Young Bucks. But yeah, I, the ones I really wanted they didn't seem to have apart from one which I did pick up, so I got two. We're gonna do two unboxings. Don't really like unboxing the AEW figures, like I said when I did the hangman page but I'll do it for you guys. So, before we go into the video actually, if you are a new watcher to The Man Games and you're enjoying what you're watching, please um, think about subscribing to the channel. It's the best way to support The Man Games and you can have notifications turned on so then you'll know when our next video goes up on the channel. Please click the like button below as well if you do enjoy the video and let me know um, what you thought in the comments. Right, so, first off we're gonna do is, we've got, didn't really think about where I was gonna put the bag. Probably not next to the microphone, that wasn't probably the best idea. So, Pack was the other figure that we got. So yeah, you can see the back there, the other um, figures in the range. So there's Darby Allen, the Young Bucks, Orange Cassidy and Rhea. So, like I said, they didn't have any Darby Allens in stock. I got home, looked online and it said to do, which is really frustrating. But there'll, there'll be other times, I suppose, where we can pick up another, well, hopefully, anyway. Just rambling now, so we're gonna open this pack figure up. So here we go, here we go. Our oh, Kenny Omega was another figure that I was looking for as well. Don't think you meant I mentioned him before. So that's that opened. So, you get a chair as well, as you can see there. So, if you're from the UK and you have a local Smiths that actually had their war game set from the WWE line, obviously, um, on sale as well, I think um, it was like reduced down to 50 quid, it's meant to be like 80. So, yeah, um, so that sounds like you're some interested, go and check it out. Right, so. These figures these days seem a lot harder to get out of the plastic. So we've got a spare head there, we'll look at that in a minute. Right. So they're actually a bit smaller, they look a bit bigger in the box, but I think maybe because the box is so thick. So yeah, there's the pack. So does his head just pull off then to change heads or oh yeah it does. Simples. So that is the other head. We'll click that on. Ah, there we go. So, as you can see, there's one with like the, the with the face, and one with the hair covering the face. That's the one what we've just put on. Um, but yeah, the move, the movements are really. Oh god, the movements aren't really good because you just broke in my hand. Oh dear me. Well, I mean, I suppose it just clicks back in, but that wasn't a great start. That was it. And um, right, so I'll just take that head back off. Click that on there. Right, so that wasn't a very good advert for the figures, was it? So yeah, the movements worked very well and I broke it. Um, right, so I mean, the the arms seem to move all right. I mean, I'm, I haven't moved the, the chest pads so much. But yeah, it's um, it's real good facial features. Yeah, looks really good, quite happy with it. Yeah, yeah it bends all right. Can do the, um, the black arrow very well. So yeah, that was the first one. Obviously, that was Pack there. So he's going to be going up on the shelf somewhere. Um, I'm trying to think. Our oh, Hangman page is right on the top. I'll just move the camera if you can see there. And page is right at the top, so he'll be going up there with, with Hangman at some point. Right, so we'll sit him 
there with the other stuff. Right now, Orange Cassidy. So. This Orange Cassidy seems a bit hard I want to get into. There we go. Just trip it on the floor. So he's got a pair of hands that I'm trying to get out of the plastic. There's another one. I drop, just drop that one on the floor. So normally when in the WWE line at least, when the, you get hands with the figures, it really annoys me because I think what is the point? Well, this Orange Cassidy, you know why, it's because he's putting his hands in his pockets. That's why you've got a hand like that. Right. So now, taking him out. Also, you can actually take off the, the t-shirt and the jacket. I'm not going to do that though. But you can actually do that. Oh, this is really cool, this. He's got plastic over his face there. Ah, it's to keep the glasses on. So yeah, there's the glasses there. But yeah, I'm not gonna take the t-shirt off. And the, but like, if you can see there, like you can um, you can pull the front bits down so you can fit his hands in the pockets. So we're gonna have to do that. I'm not sure if I do like all this clicking in and out there. So yeah, you can put his hands in the pockets. I didn't know he could do this. I think this is a great feature to the figure and then we'll put the glasses back on so if you're a WWE watcher but you're still watching the man games in this AW video check out Orange Cassidy that is what you need to do with your day to day so yeah Orange Cassidy there what a great figure this is I can't I'm so pleased about this now now it does that I know you might think that's a bit silly but so little things in life, facial features wise, it, yeah, it does look like him, really like the t-shirt. Um, it's all in one, yeah, it's like the jacket and the t-shirt here is all in one, so you, you can take it off. Like I said before, though, I'm not, I'm not going to do it, I don't want to break it. There's loads of times when I was a kid that I tried to take the jackets off things and it just broke. So yeah, I'm not going to do that in today. But yeah, it all looks really good, his movements are a lot. It seems very easier to move than the pack, to be honest. Um, yeah, he doesn't seem like he's going to break apart straight away. Um, <laughs> so yeah, really happy with both of these figures today. The the, the pack one is a bit heavier. Um, like it, yeah, this one seems a bit more flimsier in, in a certain way. The the legs seem a lot easier to move, um, especially around the, the lower bits than the, within the pack. Um, but no, very happy with both of these figures. They're going to be going, going up on the shelves behind me. Um, so I don't know if I don't think I ever addressed this on the channel or not. I thought I'd get rid of the pictures on the wall and put some shelves up because they probably look better. And I put the shelves up too high, so I could do another shelf there really. But that is something um, we're gonna have to do uh, later on down the line. Um, but yeah, that was just a bit of a ramble there about the the, the set of suppose. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this fun with figures episode, um, please let me know in the comments. I would love to do more of these, but. Um, to be honest, they weren't really getting the views I wanted, so that's why we stopped doing them. But if, like I said before, if you are a new watcher to the Man Games, check out the other Film with Figures episodes. We've got a full playlist of old episodes. They've been on the. I started doing the the um, Film with Figures episode in lockdown. Went through loads of old figures, so you can check that out as well. Some of the figures are behind me there. You can see we've got like a WCW shelf there. I'll put the camera up, and there we've got. Like the Usos, we've got a Jericho, Stone Cold, a signed Razor Ramon figure that I got signed Thursday from Razor Ramon, Becky Lynch figures, and then we'll go up top again. You can see the Trish, Eddie Guerrero figures, the, the Fiend there. So, yeah, all of them are on the channel. You can check them out. Just go through the playlist and you'll see them videos. So, thank you very much for watching the Man Games today. I'll see you on the next video. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.